Hello YouTube, this is a tobacco review of Rivendell from the Country Squire. Sold in bulk. It is a Black Cavendish Virginia Burley Blend, coarse cut. It boasts to have a cocoa walnut, light hints of cocoa walnut casing and produces a woodsy, earthy scent for a room note. As for the tin note, I'm sure you guys just can see, I mean you guys can't smell. There we go. As for the tin note, you get hints of cocoa. And that earthiness kind of blends to more of a, I hate to say it, raisin smell. But then again, with this nose, I get a lot of raisin smells out of a lot of aromatics in which this is a light, wild aromatic. As for the uh, smoking itself, it is a nice, mild smoke. Uh, if packed correctly, the which we'll see if see if I'm packed correctly or not. If packed correctly, it will uh, go for oh, 10 minutes or so before I find it needs another relight. The moisture level is mild, to say the least, and in, depending on your taste, will require uh, it to sit out for maybe oh, five minutes not a whole lot much longer or it's going to start getting I don't want to say crunchy but a little too dry I myself like it a little on the moisture side so I like it from the tin unfortunately what I have sat a little bit longer than I wanted it to so it's a little bit drier than what I would prefer but still it doesn't seem to affect the qualities too much You do get a nice smoke out of it. And almost immediately get the taste of, of the walnut and cocoa. But mostly, in my opinion, it's burnt walnut and burnt cocoa. Now, I was trying to find a replacement for a blend called Mohawk River which was my daily blend for quite a while. And I believe I found it with this Rivendell. I haven't quite, see it's already out. I haven't quite locked down onto Rivendell as a nice daily smoke, being that it is not from this part of the, the country. It is from the Country Squire, which is located in the Deep South. By, uh, let's see, JD, uh, James David Cole, the owner proprietor. I'm not sure if he is the blender of this particular tobacco. He does have others who help him out. There is this is part of his uh, Middle Earth series, and he has one recently out called um, Oh, of course, can't think of the name of it. Um, it's the name of the woods nearby. Vaguely near the Shire. Um, but anyway, it's one of his cohorts who has designed it. But this, I think he has. But don't, um, don't quote me on that. Price tag, not bad. Compared to other tobaccos that are out there. Sold in bulk, so expect um, one ounce all the way up to 14 ounces. Unlike these other specials, which some of them are four ounce only, uh, really depends on what he's pushing when. Uh, let's see what else about this. It does turn into a bit of a black crumbly uh, with hints of gray in the, um, you can see hints of gray ash in there 
which is all right. As it pertains to whether it burns hot or not, because it is an aromatic, and all aromatics tend to burn on the hot side due to the casing or topping, this is not free from that trait. Now, you don't get a whole lot of, it's just, it's not a great, or how, how to put this, I tend to smoke out of a lot of church wardens, so it tends to be on the cooler side, but even in my church warden, there is a little bit of mouth bite or tongue bite involved. I would presume a much shorter uh, shank to it, you would get a greater chance of tongue bite. But still, at that, it's not as great as it could be compared to other uh, types of aromatics out there. So, I want to say put on the weak end, put on the lighter end. It will still bite you if you're not paying attention. So, keep an eye, but it's not like a rabid dog in your pipe just trying to get at you either. Which is nice. Room note, I've gotten very little to no complaints at all. This woodsy, nutty, it's just quite nice. It's not my Mohawk River. Mohawk River to me was just absolutely fantastic but as for a supplement or a uh, possible replacement it's it's just in the running to be quite honest but there are others out there so that we'll battle it out and we'll see what happens so it is a nice blend mild blend it doesn't want to stay too long lit if you're long-winded like I am. So. Keep that in mind. Taste-wise, like I said, aromatic. Not a whole lot of taste out of it. You get the burnt cocoa. You get a burnt uh, walnut. And if I didn't know better, there's a fruitiness to it. Mirkwood. That was the name that I was thinking of. They've recently come out with a new blend for their um, Hobbit series, their uh, token series, and it's Mirkwood. Comes in four ounces, Perique blend. Sounds interesting i saw a review of it not that long ago and he gave it high marks so that stiff around that one see if that one you know how that one is but like i said rivendell of them so far that i've tried i've really enjoyed I said, if you want a lot of flavor you're not going to get in this stuff if you want a heavy room note you're not going to get in this it is a nice medium to light blend Give it a try. See what you think. This is Rivendell. Yeah, like that means anything here. here. There we go. It's Rivendell, pipe tobacco from the Country Squire. Thank you, John David, for another good creation. Any comments about this down below? Warmly accepted as always. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it. Let the rest of us in the pipe community, the YouTube pipe community, uh, will we'll be glad to hear your thoughts on this especially recently considering that by the time of the taping of this review the country squire podcast will be finishing up his broadcast in oh geez several weeks two or three weeks from now sad to see it go it lasted 500 episodes roughly 10 years if you get the chance you're into pipe smoking or curious about pipe smoking go to that podcast two goofy guys getting a good point across I've been smoking my pipe longer than they've been broadcasting and I still learn some things from them glad to say so if you're curious even if like you're not curious something different give it a try now this was Rivendell Punk. 
See what you guys think. Until next time, keep on smoking.